Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to go deeper into the data cloud object. So there are three main objects in data cloud. One is called as the data source object. You have data lake object. And the third one you have is the data model object. Now let's start with data source object. Now data source object basically contains raw unprocessed data ingested directly from the source system. So the data that is coming from the source system is it in a very raw format it is not processed so that basically is what present in the data source object but you cannot visible this in the user interface you don't have a tab to see the data source object records right we have already seen there is a tab for data lake object there is a tab for data model we don't have anything for data source but it also is like a temporary holding area for the incoming data so that is what the data source object contains so the records would be raw and unprocessed. It is not going to be visible in the user interface and it act as a temporary holding area for the incoming data. Now the next one we have is the data lake object. This is the first stage where data becomes visible in the platform. So once you have refreshed your data stream, what will happen is the data will appear and you can see the data with the help of data explorer. And that's what we're going to see once the data is available. Minor transformation you can do like applying formulas can be performed on the data lake object. So there is a, if you want to add any formula fields, anything like that, you can transform the data from raw to in a better format. You can do that, that can happen in DLOs. But sometimes if you're not adding any formula fields, DSO and DLO are going to have the same raw unprocessed data. It can be inspected and queried using the data explorer. So we have already seen with the help of data explorer, you can see the records inside of the data lake object. For example, a DLO representing customer contact information might have fields for first name, last name, email, phone number, and mailing address. So that is a DLO, right? Which is going to give you if like a raw unprocessed data that is coming from the external systems. So we uh, were bringing contacts, right? So we, we had fields like first name, last name, phone number, etc. So that is what a DLO represents. What happens next is DMOs. Those DLOs get mapped to the DMOs and that is when they become in a normalized form. This represents the harmonized standardized view of data using the customer 360 degree data, 360 data model. The data when it is coming into the DMOs, it becomes harmonized and normalized. Okay, the data has been normalized and it is also standardized. If let's say you have data coming from different system, one system stores format the phone numbers in different format, the other system stores phone number in a different, you can, st then once it gets mapped to the DMOs, it comes into a more standardized view, okay? This DMO is used for identity resolution, segmentation, activation, and other downstream processes. So you basically do identity resolution on the DMO data, not on the DLO. If you want to do segmentation, you do on the DMOs, not on the DLOs. If you do activation and other downstream, all of that happens on the DMO data. So there are three main categories, or we can say three main objects in data cloud. One is data source object. Second one is data lake object. And the third one is the data model object. Data source object and data lake object is basically raw unprocessed data. In the case of uh, DLO, it can be slightly different if you have introduced a new formula fields, etc. So that is DLO. But the data inside of DLO is not uh, harmonized data. Then what happens is these DLOs get mapped to the 360 data model of data cloud and they become harmonized and standardized. So any segmentation you do or if you want to do any identity resolution, all of that happens on the DMO records. Then the main key takeaways, DSOs hold raw data, DLOs stage and structure the data and DMOs provide a unified harmonized view of your data. Data flows from DSOs to DLOs to DMOs. So data is flowing from the data source object to the data lake object, and then finally to the DMOs. DMOs are essential for data consumption and analysis within the data cloud. Okay, so if you have to do any kind of analysis, you do it on the DMOs, not on the DLOs. Any analysis that you have to do or any segmentation you have to do, those will happen on the DMO side. Okay, so these are the three main objects that are available 
in data cloud. I hope you guys are crystal clear now and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.